Logan Church is 19 years old and she's already managed one successful political campaign and not an easy one. In Virginia, she ran the campaign of Bob Thomas, the only Republican to win an open seat last year in the middle of Democrats' blue wave. But now she's running a campaign in North Alabama for Eric Acock, who's running against State Senator Larry Stutz. And to understand how she got there, you have to go back to the day she was born. Her mother, Rose Church, died about a week after Logan was born from complications from her birth, something that could have been detected with a $5 blood test. She, when she left the hospital, she had 11 centimeter uh, piece of placenta tissue that was not removed. Um, and she was hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging pretty bad. Um, and then 10 days later, she ended up passing away. My dad is a lawyer, his way of coping with all that was writing a law because that's all he knew. So that night he went home and started drafting a law after my mom died. Logan's father, Gene Church, wrote a bill making the test mandatory and requiring insurers to cover hospital stays for new mothers and infants for a minimum of 48 hours. Now she can always say like, oh, I'd rather leave right now and that's fine, but this makes insurance pay for 48 hours after a normal birth and then 96 hours after a cesarean. Um, and it also makes sure they run a blood test when they're admitted and discharge this $5 blood test that could have saved my mom. Pushing Logan in a stroller, Jean lobbied Alabama lawmakers to pass what became known as Rose's Law. After that, Jean remarried, the church family moved to Florida, and Logan grew up. And they all tried to put the past behind them until 2015 when a new state senator named Larry Stutz tried to repeal Rose's law. So when I was 16 years old, I got a message from my aunt on Facebook and it said that Senator Larry Stutz was attempting to repeal this law and she asked me to show my dad. So I went into his office and I was super confused. I had no idea who Larry Stutz was and just the reaction on his face, like I'll never forget what that looks like. And the very next day we were in Montgomery. But there was something Larry Stutz hadn't told his colleagues in the Alabama Senate and something too Gene Church had never told Logan. When we got in the car to go to Montgomery, he looked over at me and he, he said, there's something you don't know about this. Larry Stutz, the senator, was the same doctor who was your mom's OBGYN. I guess he didn't think it was important to fill in his co-sponsors on the fact that this law was passed because of the death of his patient. When other lawmakers learned this little important fact, Stutz' bill died on the spot and Stutz became a pariah in the legislature. Stutz has said that his bill had nothing to do with Rose Church's death and that it repealed what he called emotional legislation that doesn't improve care. I couldn't understand how somebody could turn around, do this, and then 16 years later hold on to it and then have this personal vendetta brought to office. But for Logan, her story didn't end there. They say that people who are in politics get bit by a bug. And I think that is what bit me. First, she worked for Marco Rubio's 2016 campaigns. And last year, she went to lead Thomas's campaign in Virginia. She decided she had just one thing left that she wanted to do. So I like to say I don't have a vendetta against Larry Stutz. I have a vendetta against people who use political office for personal gain. Okay. Um, I have an issue with, you know, being a politician is supposed to be being a public servant. And when you take the public public servanthood and turn that around and say what can I get you start harming not only a couple people in your district not only me and my dad you're harming everyone and when it's over what does she want to do next Logan says she wants to go to college and do the things you do when you're 19 years old and you're in college I have not, my entire life, I've not had the opportunity to be my age. Um, coming out of college, my resume will still be good. That doesn't fade away. Um, and then I'll see what's in store. For Reckon, I'm Kyle Whitmire. Thanks for watching.